The world is on the brink of a new transport revolution. We've had cars, planes, trains and ships. The Hyperloop sort of promises to be the fifth mode of transport. What internet with fiber optics has done is what Hyperloop is trying to do with transportation. Essentially what it is, is a system of pods traveling inside evacuated tubes using magnetic levitation propelled via, via linear electric motor. The competition says that the fastest pod wins, so our plan was to build the fastest and the lightest pod. So SpaceX developed uh, a one mile track, they invited student teams to come and build scale down prototype vehicles and race it on this track. I mean it's clear that the public and the, the world wants something new um, and I think uh, you guys are going to bring it to them, so congratulations. Uh, we are the first and only team from India and the, one of the two from Asia that has qualified to race our pod on this track. The road has been laid. Now we are trying to define what the cars look like. We are building India's first functional, powerless, permanent, permanent magnet levitation system. Which is essentially does not use any energy. So, apart from, which is different from electromagnetic levitation. Workbench Project specifically is helping them to do the prototyping of the entire pod. From the CAD design to a 3D printed model to a laser cut model to do an FRP of, out of it. To also start doing some preliminary testing with electronics. And once we have some of these knocked off, then we are trying to help them to move to Kenya. Students coming from Bitspilani, when they presented the Ipalop uh, presentation to me, it was quite interesting. Since this has a lot of machining components involved, a lot of manufacturing involved, so we thought of supporting them from the manufacturing side. Hyperloop India is a team of students from BITS, IMA, uh, ISB, NID, NSIT, and over time it has gathered a lot of momentum and support. With the Mission 350 Plus initiative, the Indian Railways is looking to bring technologies like the Maglev into the country, especially Hyperloop One being the US-based company that is currently trying to sort of commercialize the Hyperloop in the rest of the world. The students have got the chance to share to the entire nation. What has also added to our advantage is uh, uh, the government of Karnataka coming on board. Uh, so backing us and supporting us is a very, a very, very potent way to facilitate the nationalistic competitive impulse sort of leapfrog transport in India. Often India has been spoken about as, uh, and also stands out often as just frugal innovation. I think uh, we always play with that, but uh, today it's not just about that. Uh, it's a self-pride for me being an entrepreneur uh, supporting the students program. Well, we've had support from various uh, corporates, but then now is the time to reach out to every individual, every Indian, every person who believes in Hyperloop technology and an innovation that can come from our own backyard.